Hey guys, Two Melee Weegis here, back with part 27 of Let's Play Pokemon White. And in the last video, we were making our way up Dragon Spiral Tower, and we are roughly halfway through there now, or more likely there's only one more floor ahead until we get to, uh, you know, where the story starts to get epic. Alright, um, no, I just, I've already come this way, sorry. Okay, uh, like I said in my previous video, this floor here is a, is a flippin' labyrinth. You have to navigate your way around this place, which is like somehow seemingly hard for me. I mean, I was able to get through this pretty easily the first time I played it. Or maybe it's because I'm recording myself doing it. Maybe it's maybe a little nervous or something. I don't know. Uh, actually, I think maybe... See if... Yeah, this is it. Okay, so I finally figured out how to get to the other side. Alright, so, um... Let's see what this item is here. It's a revive. Okay, I could use that. Yeah, I suppose, in some ways. Um... During the gap, I fully healed my Pokemon, or uh, maybe they were fully healed the last video, I can't remember. This is two part, it's different. Let's quick again. Burn, baby, burn. Sounds like something is on a rampage at the top of the tower. Okay, just for the sake of Pokemon fans everywhere, I seriously hope it was not Reshiram saying burn, baby, burn. Or else I would seriously cry myself to sleep tomorrow night. What? Someone has made it up clear here? Now, stop that trainer! For our lord in! Okay, so I guess I have to fight these four Team Galactic... Uh, plasma members. I keep saying Galactic. I'll have to fight these four Plasma members consecutively. It's kind of like a miniature version of the Elite Four, but only with crappier trainers. Alright, so our first challenger. What's he got? <sighs> you know what? I'm tired. Do I even need to tell you what this Pokemon is? I'm so sick and tired of coming through this. Alright, so after B... This Watchog uses Super Fang on me, which will dredge my HP down to half. Or, now that I think of it, it's actually under half, because uh, 55 and 55 make 110, not 109. Alright, well the game still doesn't know how to divide by zero, or to divide something into half, so uh, I should have been left with 104.5 HP. Uh, anyway, uh, the Watchog's dead, and he's sending out a Croc Rock, so I'm going to switch into Frillish. Knowing that Frillish can take out Croc Rock, no problem, as long as it doesn't use a dark type move like Crunch or Foul Play. It should be pretty easy. It goes with Deek of all things, so uh, I guess my Surf doesn't work here. Uh, I'll go with Surf again, because when he comes up, he, you know, he's going to be vulnerable. But hopefully this won't kill me, I mean, and it doesn't. It does a lot less damage than I thought, actually. Alright, so, um, Surf takes out Croc Rock, and, uh, that's our first of the four trainers we have to fight finished. Hooray! Sheesh, like, uh, I didn't, you know, anticipate one to read these guys, because, you know, they're grunts, they've got really nothing interesting to say, all they're gonna do is, like, make puns or whine and everything. Like, Team Rocket, and Team Plasma, and Team Aqua. And Team Magma. And Team Snagum. Ah. Uh, you know what? All these teams in these games, why does it have to be a team or everything? Can't they just be called something the something organization or something like that? Does it always have to be team this, team that? Oh well, it doesn't matter. And I, uh, you know, actually just noticing for watching Drudigan there, I think there's some bad animation on him. Uh, I'll show you next time he comes out. Uh, He's, I'm switching into my crew fail because he can do better against Croc Rock, so I'm just gonna go with that crunch to see how much damage it will do. I'm not saying it will do much. Wow, it does actually it does quite a lot of damage. I'm actually quite satisfied with that. Uh, he goes with embargo, which isn't gonna really help him because I'm not holding an item, so never mind. And my crunch finishes off him. Can't beat the all form, and that's what Ash should know by now. Evolve your Pikachu, Ash! I'm getting tired! And that takes care of that grunt, so there's only two left now, and then we can start... I think these are the last four trainers of the entire tower, so uh, after this there's no more battling, it's just uh, sitting back, relaxing, and watching what's gonna happen. So our second last grunt, she's got rubbish, and I'm pretty sure Hydra uh, Drudigan can take this out all by himself. And there's the bad animation. If you look between his head and his neck, you can see his head is overlapping his neck in some way that seems impossible. So, uh, I don't know if he knows it, I'm just, uh, I just knows it, so, uh, yeah. 
in my opinion, it could have been animated a bit better because it kind of looks like his head is detached from his neck in a way, or semi-detached, that's me. Like, I don't know, it's a doll's head where it can turn 360 degrees. Uh, I'll just ignore it for now. I'm going to Bleed Blade, kill this life hard using my superior. And besides, I'm not going to be using Drunigan all the way through. I mean, it's not. I mean, it's a good dragon type, but it's just too outclassed by other better dragons, unfortunately. It's a pity because I kind of like I, I kind of like Dreadigun. I would use him. Actually, I'm gonna stop using him. I think I'll use him online sometimes. His sheer force ability really comes in handy, but I think sheer force works even better on for Alligator. I mean, it just works so much better for for Alligator because for Alligator has so many, so many attacks that would be really useful from sheer force, like Ice Punch, Ice Fang, Crunch, uh, Waterfall, and or Aqua Tail. Um. So, in my opinion, I think Relegator is a better choice for it. But uh, it's a pity he won't get the uh, boost from Earthquake. But maybe a bo uh, on second thought, yeah, he would boost from Earthquake pretty bad. Because even if he gave him Bulldoze, it still wouldn't be as powerful as Earthquake, even with the boost. Alright, so uh, I'm switching in my Galvedangela and using 100% Accurate Thunder. Oh, that feels so satisfying. Especially when it's been done on a Watch Hog. Uh, I wish I'll do that again further on. I'm going to enjoy killing a lot of watchdogs with my thunder. Alright, so uh, I think that's all four teams done. Alright, so now we can just continue on up the stairs where we find... <gasps> and what's that figure in front of him? Oh. My. God. Okay, if any of you believe what I just saw, yeah, we all know what we saw. What do you think? How's it fe how do you like the beautiful form of the Pokemon who appears before and fights beside the hero that will lead the way to a new world? Now, Rishiram, I will head to the Pokemon League and defeat the champion. This will be the last of the Pokemon battles that hurt Pokemon so. A world for Pokemon alone, it's finally going to be a reality. And Rishiram flies upwards. If you want to stop me, you must become a hero as well. That's right, when Reshiram's counterpart, Zekrom, recognizes you, we will finally be even and then you can try to stop us. Well, what will you do? My prediction is if the future that I see is true, Zekrom will be, will be with you and your Pokemon will be strong. You will be one who interferes with my formula for change the world. If you want to protect the bonds between Pokemon and people, you must search for Zekrom. I'm sure it is waiting for you in the form of the Darkstone. Okay, so if my guess is correct, we must find this dark stone. Matt, did you see what just flew over there? How could this happen? Why? Why was that guy in, right? Why was he with the legendary Pokemon? He couldn't really be the hero, could he? Also, did I hear him telling you to search for another legendary Pokemon? Calm down. First we go back. It's more important to decide what to do next than to analyze what just happened. I think you got the other way around, actually. It's better to... Analyze something first and then decide what to do. Astounding! I never would have thought. Imagine that the legendary dragon Pokemon would return now. That guy called N. Team Plasma's boss apparently reawakened the legendary Pokemon. He told Mech to look for the other legendary Pokemon, then flew away. Huh? There are two dragon type Pokemon? Oh god. Yes, they yes they are. Why, if it isn't Elder, it's been a while. Have you been? No time for chit chat. The fear of some college of fire that shot from this tower, that Pokemon has the power to destroy the world. If it's on Team Plasma's sides, Team Plasma tells everyone to release their Pokemon. No matter whether it comes from fear of admiration, the world can't help but change. It will become a world where we are separated from Pokemon. Right. Moreover, the boss of Team Plasma and who reawakened Reshiram apparently said to look for the other Pokemon, Zekrom. If I remember the myth, Reshiram's fiery breath, along with the other Pokémon, devastated ancient Unova in an instant. Even knowing that, N is still wanting to waken the other? Huh? Isn't it dangerous to bring back a powerful Pokémon that powerful? Miss, you are a very kind person. Still, I do not know if other Pokémon will be able to stand up against it. Because no matter what, it is a legendary being. I don't like the idea of taking orders from N, but searching for the dragon, the stone, might not be a bad plan. We certainly can't let Team Plasma reawaken both of them. Since I've traveled all over Unova, I have an idea where it might be. Let's head to the Relic Castle. Matt, everyone, I'm going there. Very well, we will see you there. I am going to investigate the tower. Then I will go with you. 
Okay, so it looks like we're heading for the Relic Castle next. I think I understand better now, but being able for a Pokemon something like this as, and my strength is something that is given to me by Pokemon. Okay, champion, let's hurry. Okay, so they're off to Relic Castle and I guess I'll follow them in the next part. Nah, right, this has turned into a big deal. So confusing, I don't know what to do. Are you going to the Relic Castle, Matt? It's past food form in the desert resort and yeah, we all know where it is. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. See you next time in part 28.